Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to bring, be bringing you guys the first paycheck to paycheck budget check in for September. I have not done one of these since March or April, so I'm really excited to get back into the swing of things um, and kind of get everything in my life budgeting and financial wise back on track um, because this coronavirus has taken a toll on probably a lot of you guys as well as me so I'm really happy to kind of get back into the swing of things so stay tuned and we will jump right into my paycheck to paycheck check-in okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually mark down my paycheck. So I'm going to break down every part of all of the income that I made for or will make for the first week of um, September. And then after that, we will go ahead and stuff my cash envelopes as well as my sinking fund. So that's always the exciting part. I know that's what you guys watch for and I do too. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is, this is actually my November um, sticker kit but I'm improvising and using it for September because I didn't create one for September. Um, so all of this is for November. I have this one and then I also have another theme for November and I have December's up as well. Two different themes for that one. So if you're interested in the stickers, um, check out my website which is www.morijune.com M-O-R-E-Y-J-U-N-E -E. um, I have all sorts of stickers on there as well as tons and tons of cash envelopes. So if you're interested, go check those out. And we will go ahead and jump into this. Um, so income for the first week, we have my full-time job. Um, and today is the fourth. So we have, what month is September? Oh my goodness, nine. <laughs> drawing a blank there. Nine, four is when I got that. And it is for $520 even. <clears throat> and then the second source of income for the week is my uh, part-time job. And now one thing is I do not calculate any online income in my weekly breakdown. I've said this before, but it's just because your online income can change at any second. It is not fixed at all. It's very variable. Um, so I don't like it to calculate it in here because I want to know that I can pay for all of my expenses, my cash envelopes, my sinking funds, anything that I need to survive, I can do with the fixed income that I know I'm going to get. And then the online income is just an added bonus, um, that I can use towards, uh, debt snowball payments or, you know, whatever, maybe savings. Um, so for the... First week of September, um, my, uh, oh, blah, 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 blah. I seriously cannot talk. My brain is moving a lot faster than my mouth. Um, my part-time job is two hundred and eight. We are two hundred eight dollars for the first week. I really need to get back into the swing of things because I am not very organized in making these videos. Let me tell you. So we have 520 and 208, which gives us $728 for income for week one of September. So that is the income portion. Next, we're going to come over here and mark down our expenses. Um, so I'm first going to start with Capital One. And the weekly amount that I'm going to take out for this one is $21.50. Um, a lot of people ask me why I do this. I break my any expenses down by fourths, and that's because I get paid every week. So instead of, say, my car payment is $612 a month, instead of having to have that all come out of one paycheck, um, which would take up the majority of what I made in a week, 
I break it down by force and take that much smaller amount out every single week and I do that with all of my expenses. Um, I do have a few videos talking about this and how I utilize that method um, if you want to go check those out. But that's just how I do it. If you get paid on a bi-weekly basis, you would just break that down by two. Just makes it a little easier, I feel. Um, next is going to be credit one. And that weekly amount is $7.50. Next I have PayPal. And that weekly amount is $28. No, it is not. 560. 28 is the total. Um, let's see here. Next we have Kohl's. And the weekly amount for Kohl's is also 750. Then we have my car, which like I said, this is a big one. So 153 is a lot easier to come up with out of this amount than $612 is. Um, next I have rent, which is 200 before anybody asks. I live in a family owned house um, and my parents are very generous uh, in helping me out. So that is why the rent is so low. Um, tumbling for my daughter for the month is 65 or no not the month oh and that's I already messed up need to get my white out here I was telling you guys I do weekly amounts and then I wrote down the monthly amount for my rent if you guys do not have one of these little white out correction tapes they're awesome okay so backtracking $50 for rent and then tumbling $16.25 <laughs> for the week. I just got done making my September monthly budget um, video so I'm kind of used to getting the monthly amounts and I have to break it down weekly. Okay, continuing on, next we have Hulu for TV which the weekly amount is $14.75 and then we have Verizon which is for cell phones and that is $29 and then last is website which is $15.50 for this week. So I am going to go ahead and add up these amounts. I have a loopy case and the loopy part of it is a little obnoxious when you're trying to set it down flat. So we have 21 plus 750 plus 560 plus 750 plus 153 50 1625 1475 29 and 1550 so $320.10 if I added that up right you guys normally catch it before I do so $320.10 for uh, expenses next I'm going to do my cash envelopes um, I have three which is gas, groceries, and spending. So gas for a weekly total is $45. Groceries for the week will be $80. And spending is $40. Oh, and I just meant $45, not $40. So $45 for gas, $80 for groceries, $40 for spending. Um, I get a lot of people that ask how I uh, do $80 a week in groceries. Um, two things, I meal plan 
and so I never go into a grocery store without a list because if you go to the grocery store without a list you're going to end up spending so much more money than if you actually meal plan and know what you need figure out what you have write a list of what you need and then go to the grocery store um, and then second of all uh, my family actually owns a cattle farm so we get a lot of our meat from there um, both beef and pork we also have some hogs um, so I you know I do buy chicken from the store and then lunch meat and whatnot but I rarely ever have to buy any type of pork or beef from the grocery store so that also helps um, but so that's our weekly budget for groceries is $80 and it works for us okay so next we're going to sinking funds oh I forgot to total my cash envelope. So we have 45, 80, and 40, so 165 for cash envelopes. Or, er, yeah, cash envelopes. So, sinking funds, moving on to that. The first one is school tuition. Um, for the month of September, I am only stuffing six envelopes, and then starting in October, I will add in the others. I think I have 14 total, um, but I'm just doing six uh, every week for the month of September. So back to school. I use that one for school clothes, school supplies, anything like that, and that is 20 a week. I obviously just utilize those two, school tuition and back to school, um, in the end of August since my kids started back to school so we are now starting over with filling those envelopes. Car insurance. I pay my car insurance six months at a time. So it is paid for right now. I'm just um, saving, setting money aside for the next time that it is due which will be December which will pay for January to July um, and that's 35 car maintenance um, I do 10 and then Christmas it is crazy to think that Christmas is just a couple months away about two and a half months three months maybe and I'm actually going to do a hundred my Christmas sinking fund has zero dollars in it right now zero, zip, not a nothing. So I'm going to add in $100 every week um, up through Christmas so that I will have what I believe I will want or need in there for my Christmas shopping. And then last is vacation. And that one I'm going to do 20 a week. So we'll go ahead and add these six up. So we have 10, 20, 35, 10, 120, so 195 for sinking funds. Okay, so now what I do is I come down here to the paycheck breakdown. Um, I am going to write out my income, my cash envelopes, or expensive cash envelopes, sinking funds, and then what our remainder is for this paycheck. So we have income, which was $728. And then we have our expenses were $320.10. Cash envelopes were, let's see here, $165, and then sinking funds. We're 195. So now is the moment of truth. Making sure that I have enough money in my income to cover all that I need for my expenses for the week. So we have 
plus 165 plus 195. Ooh, we made it. $680.10. So we will take that away from our 728. We do not have a lot left, but at least we are not, you know, at a negative amount. So we have $47.90 left over from my paycheck um, for this week. So you zoom in there. So our income was $728, expenses of $320, cash envelopes $165, sinking funds of $190, which added up to about $680. And so we have that little amount left. So that's okay though. That's perfectly fine. So we have our paycheck breakdown finished here. So now I'm going to set up my cash and my envelopes and we will go ahead and get to stuffing those envelopes. All right, I got everything set up here. So I always like to start with my cash envelopes, um, which I keep these in my wallet. I have groceries, gas, and spending. Um, I just keep these in my wallet with me because these are the three I use the most. And then all of these here are my sinking funds, so I'll show you those in just a second. Um, so starting with groceries, I was going to do 80. So we have 20, 40, 60, and 80. So we will put that in there, and those are that one is stuffed for the week. Um, next is going to be gas, and gas I designated 45 for. So we have that. We'll get that one in there. Um, if you're interested, I do sell all these cash envelopes in my Etsy or not Etsy in my Shopify shop. Um, www.morijune.com. You can purchase them to where they're just like this without the six hole punch so that they fit in a wallet or you can purchase them with the six hole punch where they do fit in, the, in a wallet or in a binder like this. Um, I got this specific binder at Michael's. You can also get them on Amazon. All of my cash envelopes will have a blank label on here so that you can use a wet erase marker like this one here. I do also sell these on my website. Um, you can write in the label. It wipes off with water or a baby wipe and then they will all also have a tracker on the back of it which you also use a wet erase marker for. So um, they're reusable. You can name any uh, category on them that you want. So last cash envelope is spending which I said I was going to do 40 for. So we will get 40 in there. So my cash envelopes are done. These three here will go in my wallet um, for the upcoming week. And now I'm going to start with sinking funds. Um, now I have quite a few sinking funds in here, but like I said, I'm only doing six for the month of September, and then I'll add in the rest for October. Um, so this is not one that I am doing back to school is. So we were said we we're going to do $20 for back to school. So we'll add that in there. And then I always like to then track that on the back. So we have date, amount, and total. So today is the fourth. We are adding in $20. So our total in this envelope is 20. That way you don't have to take it out every time and the cash and count it. You can just easily look on here to see what your current total is. I do that for any time I put money in or take money out. Um, next is car insurance. We are stuffing this one. This one is gonna get 35 for the week. So we have 35, get that in there, and then I'm just going to do the same thing. We're going to write 9, 4, we're adding in 35, which makes our total 35. Car maintenance does have 90 in it. I have 100 written down here, I must have miscounted. So we have 90 in there. We are going to be adding in 10, which will put us at 100. So I'm not even going to mark anything. I'm going to leave that 100 as it is, and then I'll mark it next time. Christmas has Zippo. We're adding in 100 to Christmas. So again, 9-4, adding in 100. Our total is 100. Um, this is another one I am not doing, as is that one, as is that one, as is that one. Same with that, same with that, same with that. I like to put rent in here, but I actually think I'm not going to do that anymore. I think I'm just going to keep my rent in my account. Um, 
and then write a check rather than taking it out in cash. But I'm gonna leave it in here just in case I change my mind. Savings, I'm not doing uh, school tuition. I just paid this, but school tuition is going to be 10, so I will fill $10 in that every week for the next year, and it will be due in August of 2021. And then the last one that we are doing here is vacation. Has nothing in it, so we're gonna put 20 in there. And fill out the last one for here. Now, I do have this debt snowball um, envelope, which, so what I do with that is, so next week, whatever money I have left in my gas, groceries, and spending envelopes, I take out and I put in here, I do that every week, and then at the month, at the end of the month, I um, use that for an, an extra debt snowball payment. Some people roll over, so say I only use $20 out of my gas envelope, so I would in turn have $25 left over. Some people roll that over to the following week, but I like to take it all out, even if it's just a dollar, and add it to this envelope, and then it really is amazing how much adds up when you do that and you're taking the money out of here. So that's what I use that one for, but I'll just go through these quick so you guys know what all I have. This is my first child savings, um, back to school, car insurance, car maintenance, Christmas, and then I have my second child savings. I have gifts, household, kids, um, my third child savings, medical, used for like co-pays and whatnot, uh, personal care, I like to use this one for like haircuts, I like to get my eyebrows waxed, that's pretty much it for that one, um, and then rent. And then my own personal savings. I do have my uh, savings account in Capital One 360 that has um, my emergency fund in it. I have over $1,000 in there. But I do like to add weekly amounts to this to then fill that as well. And then school tuition, which you guys saw, vacation, and ending with debt snowball. So those are my envelopes. Again, if you're interested in any of them or any of the stickers you saw in this video, go check out my website. Um, and that is basically it for this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm so excited to get back into doing videos. Um, I said this in my last video, but the lighting right now is not great because I have one really good light over here and one not so great light over here. So hopefully that'll be fixed in the next video. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.